Today I'm in uh, Sunflies. Today I'm in Sunflies next to the marina. Here's a lovely hut at the beach. This is Sunflies behind me. It's just on the other side of the bay of Sunny Beach, which is over there. And then you see here in the background the peninsula of Nessebar. I'm going through the marina. It's uh, not much going on, but maybe interesting to see some boats and other stuff. Okay. This is where the hiking path starts in San Vlas. Hiking trail up there, the hills, and with a view across the bay, across the sea. This is the map of the hiking trails around here. Poster of the animal life here and plants. And this place, if you just um, go along the main street, in San Blas until the end and there's a bus station bus stop here Just like that so here I am in the sunny beach now in the center part I'm approaching the major pedestrian area that leads down to the pier
Beach Airport. I'm just exploring the area. Uh, Sunny Beach Airport. This is the only airport in the area. There is the next one. It's a uh, larger one is in Burgas uh, with international flights. And then there's a, another one in Varna, which is around 100 kilometers from here. Still exploring today uh, by car. I'm driving around the area. Here I'm at Kableshkovo, it's another village. And a nice view onto the sea. I just passed the city center of Kableshkovo. There is a market every Thursday. I'm turning left now there towards uh, the coast again. I'm leaving Kopleskovo now. There's a bus stop here. I'm uh, close to Ahloy. Here's a development over there. At the coast you see more of those. Uh, these have been built for a few years now and uh, it's not really going any further. Yeah, this is a kind of a bus stop. There are buses going towards Ahaloi and uh, the other villages. There's uh, another village over there, it's called Pomorje. In this part here, up to Burgas Airport, there are not really many beaches. There are maybe beaches in Pomorje there, but these are smaller ones. The major beaches are in Sunny Beach and further north actually there's uh, Biala. It's a little bit sunny but the wind is ice cold. It goes down minus degrees overnight. So let's just uh, continue. At the gas station filling up my car with gas. <laughs> Now I hello at the sea. My car is full. 
Yeah, here are a few more developments in the background. You can see some are finished, some are not so quite finished. Another part of the beach and the coast. But still, there are buildings everywhere and uh, resorts spread all over the place here, which is uh, south of Nesebar, between Nesebar and Burgas, but still on the closer end to Nesebar here. This is one of the new developments here. There's, it's brand new, nobody lives here yet. Seems uh, there's just finished and ready for people to move in. Okay, I'm here at this uh, plane uh, in Sunny Beach, the karting track. It's the winter out of season, so there's nobody here. I will be going further up to the Outlook. It's very windy. I'm heading up to the Outlook, uh, up the hill over Sunny Beach. It's a sunny day to the beach, Iraqi beach, later on. There are no clouds at the moment. So. I was trying to get to the outlook of uh, Sunny Beach, but the gate is closed. Maybe for the winter season it's closed. I will continue going towards the beach uh, along the road. It's the road to Varna, which is around uh, 90 more kilometers. This is the last outlook over the bay of Sunny Beach from, uh, from the road uh, before it turns inland. So I made this stop. The other one is much better, of course, but well, it's closed today. I will go on towards the Iraqi beach.
<laughs> okay, so I drove uh, a little bit further uh, from uh, Iraqi beach. They didn't let me film there for some reason. I don't know why. Here I'm in Opsor. There are some ruins about seven kilometers from here. I will visit later. It's very windy today. It's quite nice. It's a bit wilder here, especially today. There's a lot of wind and the waves are quite high. <laughs> background you can see uh, that is Biala at the Black Sea coast oh water is coming Oops. <laughs> today is, uh, is a nice day it's very sunny but it's cold I will continue now towards the ruins So I'm on my way to the Biala fortress, the ancient fortress and ruins. There's a museum, I guess. Uh, it's down there somewhere. And here you have an amazing view on, uh, on the beaches of Biala and Optzo, where I was earlier. And now I continue down to the fortress. So I'm approaching the ancient site of this ruin in Diala. Here's a model of the site, a reconstruction of some kind. Here we have uh, more information. Uh, late antique fortress, 4th to 7th century AD. Okay, so I had to pay five liver. They gave me this leaflet. They have some excavations here and found this site where ancient people lived from 4th to 7th centuries AD. It's uh, quite clear why they chose this space because you have a great view on uh, this side of the coastline. So if anything, would come along to attack them. They would have seen them far off. Today there are excavations here with uh, food storage. Here are more excavations. Okay, this was uh, the inner town. Here they show how this may have looked like. It's under a roof. And here's another roof. Excavation underneath a roof for protection. Oh, it's windy. Uh, must have been the church here.
So I turned my head around because it's flying away from the wind. Uh, it's interesting to see the church was built with its back on the sea. It must have to do with the east, that uh, very east over there. Because normally you wouldn't do that uh, because it's the back of the building, right? The back of the building facing the sea. It doesn't uh, make much sense otherwise. I find it interesting. So I'm uh, going around here the, towards the cape, the very corner of the cape. Here there are many fences. Uh, for whatever reason, probably because there are still excavations going on here. So people wouldn't go inside and destroy by accident something. Their anchors. From here you have a magnificent view over the bay. Uh, and the beaches over there is Opto, where, where I was before. And this is the very corner of the cape. And on the other side, you can look towards Varna, which is still around 50 kilometers away. So here we have, we have a modern uh, radar station and an ancient, more ancient, smaller lighthouse. I really love those lighthouses like the one in uh, Cancun that was very nice uh, this door look at this
day you can see Varna from here, but not today. It's a bit uh, hazy, but so sunny and uh, the wind is strong and cold. These parts were used to store food, obviously. Yeah, tons of them. Here's a whale. So I think I've seen it. It's time to return to the car and warm up a little. It's freezing. Yeah. Now a good time to complete this video and say thank you for watching my video. Please like it and subscribe to my channel. For more of this content, I will be traveling more now. Very soon I'll be in Greece. Thank you very much. I'll wrap this up. This is the end of this video. Keep watching my other videos, please. Thank you.